Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. As you can see, we're back in the office, and uh, one of the things we're preparing is for our upcoming Finance Symposium, March 28th and 29th, at the Georgia Tech Global Learning Center. Um, as of this week, we only have 33 remaining retail attendee seats, so if you have not signed up yet, please do so. We look forward to seeing you in Atlanta. Now we're going to go around the table and find out what's going on in the furniture industry this week. Uh, this week, I've got a report on um, XPL Logistics. I um, have uh, CEO Bradley Jacobs and a couple of other executives talking about the future of the company, which last year, through a, another year of acquisitions, grew to a $7.7 .7 billion enterprise. That's a 223% um, increase from the prior year. This is a big company as far as physical assets go. They've got 19,000 tractors, 46,000 trailers, some thousands of chassis, lots of boxes on the rail cars, but they are moving toward what they're calling an asset light model. Um, they're really expanding in their freight brokerage services. That's for um, even for like LTL and home delivery. And um, that's currently occupies about two thirds of their revenue. Freight brokerage alone last year was three billion dollars. So um, there's some other. They had some other thoughts on where the industry as a whole is going to. Um, well, Bill, this week I am playing armchair tourist a little bit at my desk. We're we're going back and looking at um, scenes from Ambiente, the show that I attended in Frankfurt. Um, retail in Bologna, Italy, where I was able to go into the cartel and home decor stores there and see sort of how the Italians do it on the retail side. Um, and then just for fun, a little bit of Venice, which I had to fly into and out of to get to all these places. Um, in addition, we are working on the spring issue of Design Today, which we'll have in print at market. And we are already getting so much information about High Point. Um, I know that's a big jump ahead, but it's going to be an incredibly exciting market. There are a lot of things going on. What we can talk about changes week by week. So I would just encourage everybody to stay tuned. This week, I've got a special report on metal beds, which is actually is a category we haven't really discussed in some time. And the reason this is timely for our readers is because metal beds have traditionally sold well at specialty bedding stores, but now they're going to be a good resource for retailers to use for consumers looking for an eclectic approach for their bedroom. So we we'll hope there's some good uh, insight into the category. In addition, I've got a uh, story, interesting story about Fairmont Designs. They have acquired the copyrights of the entertainment line and casual dining line of Westport Home. So here's two California companies that are going to join forces for an interesting new division at Fairmont. Look for more details in Monday's print edition. So as you can see, it's a busy week in furniture, and as we head into market, it is only going to get busier. So stay tuned to Furniture Today for all the latest developments. I'm Bill McLaughlin, wishing you good business.